Hi, my name is Jacob and welcome to another episode of Ron and Cut on the Abrasive Conversations platform. Today, in this particular episode, I want to speak about the growing trend of mass shootings in South Africa. I don't know if you have noticed recently, but there's many mass shootings that is taking place. Me living in Cape Town, I've, I've seen it um, over the past months, but I, I would say over the past years, that a number of shootings are taking place um, in Cape Town, especially in Yanga Philippi and Kailicha. Recently, there has been a shooting, a mass shooting even in um, Gauteng, in a tavern in Soweto. So for me, it, it raises the question as to why is um, these mass shootings taking place? Um, why is it, why is there not a bigger outrage in the media with regards to mass shootings? Have we become so accustomed to mass shootings that it doesn't even shock us anymore? That doesn't, that doesn't make um, uh, the type of psychological impact on us as it's supposed to, is supposed to have. And for me, it's interesting. Also, another fact uh, is that is where these mass shootings are taking place. It's taking place in areas where service delivery, in most cases, are being neglected. It's the areas where the police are scared to go in and do um, their duty. Um, they have come up with many excuses. There's not enough vans, there's not enough whatever. Um, but it always seems to be a, a, a not a lack of resources, um, not enough resources to address the, the policing in the most poorest of neighborhoods or um, in cities like Cape Town um, and Joburg. Uh, I, I've even seen that there's incidences even in, in Roberga um, where this is, this is taking place. So if, if it's happening in the most poorest areas, um, uh, why is it not happening in your more middle class and in, 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 in upper class areas? Um, and I can tell you why it's not happening there. It's because uh, it is heavily policed by securities and even the police. The re police response time in um, your more upper tier areas uh, than your most poorest areas is, is, is much better. Um, and, and much quicker. And to be fair to the police is in those areas you don't have the sheer amount of incidents that play, take place as in, um, in other places, in your most, most poorest uh, places. So in poorer places there's more and in, in, in your middle class areas it's, um, it's less. But it's only less in middle class and upper class areas because there is less incidence of violence because it's heavily policed by securities, um, uh, alarm system. So uh, most of those people are also living in very secure enclaves uh, where it's difficult to see this type of violence and, and, it, and it's happening. So the important thing then, uh, and this is the third issue, is that the government's response to critiquing or critique hasn't been good. As we have seen this week with um, um, Becky Kelly and um, Ian Cameron's um, a spat of words, uh, and they, they call it Kelly's outburst, uh, but I think there was um, words from both sides. But that particular conflict is that, um, what I observe is that uh, our minister didn't take the feedback quite well. And he didn't take it well because it also came from, from a white person in, in South Africa. So um, I think Ian Cameron and Exxon Society has a point um, that these areas that uh, the majority of black and colored people are staying in is, is neglected. And we can do something about the response time um, and put measures and the resources in place to help these communities deal with violence. But for me, even if we are policing those areas heavily, would that be bring an end to the trend of mass shootings in South Africa? And I, I, I don't think we will bring an end to the mass shootings in South Africa. 
because the root cause of the mass shootings is is guns. It's 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 guns in South Africa. So unlike uh, America, uh, owning a gun is or a weapon or firearm is not a constitutional right for for citizens in in South Africa. So um, I don't know. I, I don't see the reason. Not I don't know. I don't see the reason why people in South Africa must must own guns. Uh, I don't think uh, they need guns to defend themselves. Defend them against who? Uh, when the laws in South Africa are so strict that you cannot use a firearm to protect you, you can only use a firearm to protect you under certain um, incidents. So if, if there's such a limitation on the use of guns um, to protect yourself in South Africa, why do we have um, so much guns in South Africa? Many of these guns are smuggled into South Africa. Many of them are uh, robbed from police stations, military bases. Um, it circulates within, within the communities. Uh, but the thing is, there is too many guns um, in South Africa. So if there's too many guns, I think this is where we have to do something about um, gun control in South Africa. I think we have to relook the laws um, in terms of guns. I think we need to um, ban guns in South Africa. Um, I think uh, our society will be just so much safer uh, when we ban uh, guns. And the second thing, if we're banning alcohol in South Africa, if we ban those two things in South Africa, I think it will be a much safer um, and, and a less violent society. But um, I don't think people in South Africa wants to give up alcohol. Um, hopefully, they will give up um, uh, their right to guns. Um, so I hope that people will join me in the conversation around gun control in South Africa. And let's stop the use of, of, of guns, because if there's no guns um, and the availability of guns, then I think um, it's uh, mass shootings like we have seen in, 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 in these areas um, can be prevented. So there needs to be tighter and more stricter um, laws around guns um, in South Africa, but also the punishment for having um, guns in South Africa or using the guns needs to be, there needs to be a harsher punishment for it. So there is both a practical side from government side, but there's also a very um, a forward and a progressive um, outlook uh, measures that parliament can put in place by passing specific laws, having the conversation around gun control. So I hope you enjoyed this particular conversation, but also I would like you to join the conversation. Drop a, drop a, drop a like, um, drop a, a comment, um, challenge me, um, point out some of the things that I might have missed, um, share counterpoints, I appreciate this. And with that, I say thank you very much. God bless and until we see each other again. Bye-bye.